Hello lovelies. So today I'm going to be opening my Goddess Provisions box from September 2018. Just so you guys know, I am sitting in the position in front of my window that I used to sit in when I used to do Freedom Friday. And when cars drive by, I get this like light that goes behind me and people always think it's like an entity or something. It's not, it's just the reflection of the car. Look, ready? Like that. <laughs> I have not opened my Goddess Provisions box on here publicly in quite a while, but I just got home from the Poconos and which is um, the mountains in the Philadelphia area. And um, I just got home to see my box. And so I was like, I'm just gonna film. This box is pretty heavy. It's got some weight to it. I did see the sneak peek. It is only September 2nd, so I love that we get these boxes like so early because I'm like impatient. If you want your very own box, I've had this box for quite a while now. I fucking love this box. Um, if you want your own box, just click the link down below. It is 33 bucks a month. They have gotten better and better each month. I feel like the value has improved, so I definitely, without a doubt, would recommend this box just because I love it so much. When we open the box, oh look, there's already a book in there. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, uh oh, something must have leaked in here. We'll see, okay. So Wild Wisdom, I will show that separately. And the first, it's got like animals on it, it's got tigers and stuff. Oh God, I'm so gonna love this. Everything is fucking wet in here. That really sucks. Look at that, guys. Maybe I should hit up Goddess Provisions and let them know, and maybe they'll send me some replacement stuff in my next box. So this is Little Book of Spirit Animals. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so good. Pigs, pigeon, angelfish, like all the very, very specific book on if you feel an animal is your spirit animal, Meaning, you know, usually I feel like when you know something's your spirit animal, like mine is the crow or the raven, and I'm on C right now. Maybe I can look it up. It's just something that you start to feel connected to, something you see a lot more often. Oh, mystical animals? Oh, oh, this is Bigfoot. Bigfoot can be your spirit animal. This is like, I'm probably gonna have a mother effing blast with this. That's really cool. That's like a big book of don't you feel like you always Google, like, what does this mean? What's this spirit animal mean? Um, so that's really cool. Okay, let me read. This is a $13 value. Llewellyn's, is that how it's pronounced? Llewellyn's Little Book of Spirit Animals. Use this book to look up the animals you come across each day or in the dream world to learn about the wisdom and energy that they have to share with you. Love that. I don't know what it is that's wet in here that like caused there to be wetness. This bag is wet, but this isn't leaking. So I thought maybe it was this. I don't know. Okay, so this next thing is Root Foot Bear Intentional Wear Spirit Animal for Strong Grounding Forces Healing and Introspection. Root Foot Intentional Wear Spirit Animal Bear Roll On. This pure plant fragrance is made with grounding essential oils of vetiver, is that how you say that? Pine, sandalwood. Roll on your pulse points to invoke the introspective spirit of the bear. So I was just in the Poconos and there's a lot of bears in the Poconos. It smells like the forest, but like, it kind of smells like the bear like pissed in the forest and it's a little musky combination of all of that. <laughs> but it's definitely, like it brings me right to the woods. I was literally just in the woods about two hours ago filming for one of my courses, one of my programs that I offer. Um, and I kind of felt the same energy. So that's cool because I do love the forest energy. This is a $28 value, very cool. It does feel very potent to me. I'm also kind of feeling something, so maybe it is a little too potent for me because I'm feeling it on my skin. 
Like it might, there might be a little bit too much essential oil versus the d dilution oil. Or I could be, I could be allergic to one of those oils, who knows? Okay, this was the sneak peek that I was kind of looking forward to, but I also was like, hmm, okay. Animals, I never, never thought about doing like car, like connecting more with animal energy and I mean of course I've connected with my own spirit animals but not like a whole bunch of them so it's I was kind of like open to it so these are animal allies oracle cards I kind of looked a little bit into the artist whose name is Jessica Swift she is an artist because she also sells these like paintings like the original paintings of the Animals. I really love the, oh, I guess is this the book? I do love the graphics on the front. Oh, I don't know, is that the book or is that just, let's see. Ugh, I hate big giant cards like that, but they're oracle cards, so I'll give them a break. That's cute, a simple way to use this deck. The art's really cute. I do like that. I like the back of the um, deck. I just love that, like I just wanna kind of frame that. <laughs> if you can see it. So here's some of the cards. We've got alligator. What's that, an ant? They're cute. I mean, I do really like them actually. I wasn't sure how I was gonna like them. The badger, the bat. Um, so, and then she just gives a card, which this is kind of interesting. It, it helps that we got this book, which actually these are two separate entities this book kind of helps but she gives just this tiny little information look it's like a whole look here's crow right here this beautiful and intelligent bird knows the mysteries beyond what we can see and knows that this is all a wild and brilliant illusion Ooh, of course that's why that's my my spirit animal so she does it like this front and back I mean, that's cool, it's easy. It's probably easier to find. It's just like kind of all laid out, like alphabetical for you. Um, as opposed to normally there would be like a book. I actually really, surprisingly, I really do like these cards because this, this artwork isn't particularly something, like the type of artwork it is, isn't particularly something that I would be drawn to for my own self, but I love the energy of these cards. Oh look, here's the crow. Oh, of course the crow has a little crown on its head. I don't know if you could see that. It's gonna show it to you. It's just not gonna focus for us. I'll show you a close up. Look, the deer, I just saw a whole bunch of deer today. I really love these, I really, really do. Oh my God, there's such a spirit in them um, because she's an artist and there's a lot of art in these and it's connected to the animals. I really, really like these. I didn't think I was gonna, I didn't think I was gonna like them, to be honest. I saw them and I was already think of, thinking of who I could give them away to. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, but um, I really, really do like these. I think it's gonna be interesting to pull these kinds of cards. Um, I think I probably would pull like one card out of this deck with another um, reading, like another set of cards. That's probably how I personally would do it. Ooh, the coyote. I would love to know if you have these cards or if you, if you would, how you would pull them. Look, I keep pulling the same cards. Alligator, the crow, and the bat. That's kind of funny. Ooh, the hawk. <sighs> cool. I like these. I, I, I really do like these. I even think that these would be so cute to like decorate like Meadow's room with. They're, they're like kind of whimsical, you know? I'm surprised at how, at how much I actually do like the energy, the feel, I'm feeling good just looking at these cards. So, I mean, you know that she puts so much love into these um, because it, it is an artist. She is an artist that, that paints these and then has printed them. So, you know there's a lot of love in there um, and I guess that that's what I'm feeling but there's also a lot of creativity which kind of feels magical and whimsical and really cool. Jessica Swift Animal Allies Oracle. Tune into the wise and gentle guidance that this 
that is available to you through Animal Messengers with these beautiful oracle cards. I did love the concept of connecting more with nature and more with animal energies just to feel more connected to the earth. You know, I've been talking about this a lot. I don't know if you've watched a video thus far of me talking about it, but I've been really getting into witchcraft and the concepts of connecting with earth and that really beautiful using the energies, the, the power and the magic that's already here. So there feels like there's a lot of magic in doing that. Uh, these are a $23 value. I think that's cool. I think if this is something that you just want to grab, but this box is $33. And so we already get a lot of value right there. Let's see what's going on with this here situation. We're in this handcrafted myrrh incense while meditating on your inner strength and your ability to overcome obstacles. This is an $8.50 value. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use them because mm, they smell good. Myrrh was what, what the, one of the wise men brought for Jesus when he was born. I would have to dry these out before I could light it. Probably put it in a different box. I'll just sit it here in the sun for right now. That kind of sucks, but again, that's it's not normally like that. I don't know how it got, I still don't understand how this got wet, but um, so yeah, $8.50 value by Elephant Incense. Let's move on to the next thing. Oh, Fractalista. I hope I'm saying that right. Fractalista, I love her. So in my, the creator and owner of Fractalista, she does these amazing um, like laser engraved like crystals and selenite and all that kind of stuff in Palo Santo. She does um, really beautiful work and I loved her work so much. Definitely go check her out, Fractalista. Um, I loved her work so much that I bought a whole bunch to make my own empath tool kits and empath like burning kits um, to give away as prizes in my How to Rock It as an Empath course that is gonna be coming out in the next like two months or so. Um, so keep a lookout for that. But I did give, and I still have some actually, to give away. This is a cute little Palo Santo stick. I'll show a close up. It says, Fractalista Designs Palo Santo. Burn this sacred wood to cleanse your aura so you can get a bird's eye view on life and open to divine guidance on which direction to fly next. I love that, that's cute. $4 value. One thing I will say about Fractalista's designs, I really hope, I'm always like, how do, her name's Andrea, and I'm always like, how the f do you pronounce this? Am I saying it right? What does it even mean? <laughs> Not only her, are her designs like stunning, I mean fucking stunning, you guys. Um, she, they're also really affordable. And then it just makes you wanna just buy everything. <laughs> but they're just like blow me away, stunning. And the I remember the first, I guess last year, we got one of her designs in, in our Goddess Provisions box. But when I first got this and I first looked at it, it just like blew me away. So go look up Fractalista even if you don't get this box. That is $4 value, really awesome. Next thing is the Peacock Ore, known as the Stone of Happiness. Oh, ooh, holy moly. Wow, look at that. What, what? This stone infuses positivity and into spiritual pursuits of any of understanding, intuition, dreaming, and ancient wisdom and transformation, $6 value. Ooh, this has good energy, I can just feel it. And it's so fun. Like it's, it's giving me like, I'm wondering how it's made. I feel like it looks like maybe it was once pyrite and then maybe it, like through some sort of something in the elements created this like really freaking cool iridescent thing. I don't know, I would love to know. Which is kind of interesting because if it is some form of, or was once pyrite, um, because there are some gold specks in there, I kind of like the symbolism of the alchemy and the alchemist process of transformation. Pyrite helps with like creativity. So I, 
it's kind of like creativity is the road to happiness to get all your colors, you know? Oh my God, this is like amazing. Holy crap. It is kind of like shedding on me a little bit. It just feels like a rock. It doesn't even feel like a crystal. That's really cool. And now, last but not least, is this cute little sticker that I love. Wild Slice. It's like a buffalo with mountains and such. The sun and the moon. Oh, so cute. I always like, I'm like, what do I do with the stickers? I never know what to do with the stickers. Wild Slice Designs. Oh, it's a bison. Excuse me, not a buffalo. A bison. Those are different, right? Bison sticker. Stick this artwork on your water bottle, laptop, or car as a reminder to connect with your wild side. It's, it'll probably go in my car. <laughs> I, we got stickers, um, I don't know, a while back that, actually all the stickers I get, not all, some of the stickers I've gotten I've put in, I've put in my car. So that's super cute and that is a $5 value. I like the artwork. It might be cute to look and see what else they offer. You know, if it's more than just stickers, if they do like notebooks or whatever, I don't know. That would be cool to look at. So that is it. That is the box. Oh my God, I'm so happy. The book and the cards. This is what I mean by the value of this box continually go seems to me to go up and up and up and up and up. Like I feel like I can just really do so much with all of this and I love that. So freaking good. Goddess Provisions, you guys are kicking ass. If you guys want your own box, make sure to click the link down below. All right, guys, there it is. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of the September 2018 Goddess Provisions box, and I will see you on my next video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to get not just things like this, but many, many, many more things as it pertains to life and spirituality and creativity and art and all of the things that are my empire. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.